Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today Yes, we got some news to talk about and a lot of people out there are gonna be happy Because uh, one character is coming out on Friday and I know some of you guys were were waiting for her for a long time and uh, the wife who is finally gonna be out but before we talk about that character that comes out we're gonna go over the news that we got right before that so guys if you are new to this channel please subscribe down below and uh, let's get going into the news so this friday from the final fantasy 15 event we're gonna have a new highly difficult quest and yeah we're gonna be fighting a malboro one more time so uh on friday you you will be able to fight this big malboro that's gonna uh, like i said come out with the final fantasy 15 event so let's see what uh, mr mog has to say for us decrease its defense and spirit to defeat it with one blow kupo it's weak against fire and plant killer abilities so uh you put ifrit if you have seven star emperor you just do fire from below and uh yeah maybe you could do a lot of damage with that i'm just saying out there you guys can probably try that because i don't have my seven star emperor yet so uh this can be the quest that we have one thing you'll be able to get you're gonna get a five percent moogle uh complete the uh, complete the quest you get dragoon lance which is attack 109 it's a spear and the dragoon lance Boost fire, ice, and lightning resistance by 20%. So pretty nice for your damage dealers. Also to get that extra uh, elemental resistance. Use three or more limit burst. You get 10,000 empty magic flask. No items. Earth resistance 20%, which is always good to have these guys. And defeat the Malboro with magic. Another 5% Moogle. So we're going to wait on Friday. And we'll see exactly how this fight is going to go. So we're going to go down here one more time actually more than one more time so equipment enhancement event so still castle malfique is coming back guys and you will be able to uh level up level up you guys know what i mean you're gonna be able to get more uh enhancements for your daggers staffs axes mace so if you have your nirvana your holy one and you want to stack more spirit on it if you have your bowie knives also guys they're really really good for your units cg nicole uh, actually ignis with um, more MP, you stack more MP and HP on those uh, sweet daggers. They're going to make your character so much better. But yes, if you have the Nirvana, the Holy One, now is your time to get even more spirit on uh, your staffs. And you'll be able to do a lot, lot more things with them. Especially if you have your Leelas out there and you want to build that spirit, uh, you can get even more spirit. So good thing we're going to be able to get some uh, Moogles, some tickets. So if you guys have no more tickets for the character we're going to talk about, you're going to be able to get some tickets and hopefully you'll be able to pull the unit once or twice. So you guys know how Steel Castle Milfica works. You take a weapon, you go through 10 floors, you get some enhancements for your weapon and uh, once you beat the final boss on stage 10, while well, your weapon has all the enhancements that you wanted. So you can have three enhancements maximum on your weapon. So, bam, that's another one done. Let's go right here this is where we get it going so citra is finally coming out guys i'm not gonna spoil anything but she's a character in final fantasy brave exvius most of you guys uh should know and uh she brings a lot of power obviously she is an hybrid damage dealer and uh we we're, i'm not gonna go down too much on uh the uh the way she works but let's just say that she has some spr scaling uh magic damage and she has magic and spr to um she uses magic and spr as her main damage also so uh let's go over citra we're gonna have a nice step up so step one it's only one summon bam 500 lapis you get a 1.5 times rate up on the unit then on step two a thousand lapis you get two uh, summons and you get a four percent uh, four star moogle so a five percent moogle on it on step three oh my god we are getting the 70 percent guaranteed blue uh ticket which right here they say five percent thirty percent that we never know somebody out there might get a rainbow with that but i just gotta say every time i got those tickets i always got blue and i think only once i got a gold so we got the 70 percent uh guaranteed blue ticket right here 
and it's a 1500 lapis for four summons which is actually not bad then on step four 3000 lapis you get six summons and you get a 10 percent moogle and this is where it gets really really interesting on step five it's a 5k pull 11 summons so 11 units and you have five times rate up for a five star citra not that bad it's uh if i'm not mistaken 11,000 lapis total so if you guys have some lapis and you want to pull for her, go for it there is going to be your chance and you can also use some tickets if you kept some tickets for this unit so let's go over citra right here we're going to go over her trust master uh hero's vow light reduce dark resistance by 30 percent and boost spr by 60 percent and uh lb gauge fill rate increased also or super tmr uh badrosa it's a staff it's really really strong attack 12 magic 110 spirit 150 and evoke uh, evil Madge plus 30 percent that's no joke because you're going to be able to dish out a lot of damage because you're going to be able to summon any esper in your party when you have her in your party so she works like an Ico, uh garnet Yuna, all these characters, all the evokers, she is really, really strong in that department. So HP looking really, really good, magic good, spirit really good, it's the same, and MP also. Abilities, evocation, uh, evocation, fierce light of supremacy, 7 star only when she has that. Uh, one use every 6 turns, consume evocation, evocation, evocation gauge to damage all enemies. Uh, I have it right here, let me check right real fast real fast uh so basically if you guys wonder it's a one hit move and it's an aoe 2500 percent hybrid attack using magic and spr on a five turn cooldown so yeah really really strong also she has evocation light of rune consume evocation gauge to damage one enemy uh she has holy mine light damage to all enemy fill evocation gauge evocation gauge and restore HP for all, ally all allies and I think the HP for all allies it's a thousand with a 3.4 times multiplier which is really really nice so she's able to dish out some damage and also heal your party a little bit more which is really really good then we have our four star going to six stars uh, Mac Mitty is a machinist and I love that trust master guys uh, Ravis I think it's a 40% to attack The fact that you can nullify paralysis and stone is amazing guys because having those things nullify on your damage dealers just take the example the fight with asiko uh just if your damage dealers didn't have petrified resistance it made that fight a little bit longer like i did in my video but uh, having those status ail uh, ailments nullify is really really good so that's a really nice tmr we're not gonna go over the stuff because basically four star units becoming six stars are not going to be that relevant anymore then we have our three star going to five star and she has a really nice tmr also it's a piece of, it's a robe magic 30 raw stats defense 25 spirit 25 hp 10 percent and an extra 20 percent in magic so this is really really nice i gotta say uh those three star units at least if they're not relevant they have really really nice tmrs to play with so this is really nice and uh, her name is lodi just we're not gonna forget about you lodi we're gonna say your name out there so bam coming out with the uh, cg lemon burst movie this is gonna be really really cool uh so if uh, don't forget guys go in there initial reward you get one some one rare summon ticket clear the quest you get 100 lapis which is also really really nice use a limit burst rare summon ticket sorcery dampener mini soul pot times three and use only mine you get one star quartz so this is an easy way to get two summon tickets and maybe those two summon tickets out there will make sure that one of you guys pulled citra and with that new unit we're gonna get a new story event piercing light uh, which is gonna start on Friday so you guys will be able to farm a lot of Christ get some more lapis and get some nice uh, Equipment event that we're gonna talk about right now as we're going down here nice and slowly Bam bam bam. So Limited equipment get those guys because this one is really really nice evokers horn It's a hat 
Defense 3, Spirit 3, Magic 15%, Spirit 15%, and Evil Mag plus 10%. This is really good. You put that on Garnet, while well, uh, now she has a 70% Evil Mag instead of 60%, which makes her a lot stronger. And uh, I gotta say, it's free. So get it. Don't just get it. Get these things because they're really, really nice. And the last one, Energy Gun, Attack 58. Chance of, of inflicting paralysis, uh, paralysis, pa paralysis. Chance of being paralyzed. All right, we're just gonna put it like that. So much easier. Uh, basically, not that strong. But if you guys are using this on your Amelias or Veritas and the like in the arena, could be nice. You know, just get a chance of paralyzing everybody on the other team. It's also, it's always nice. It's always good to have. But let's just say that what we are really looking for is this beautiful waifu out there. A lot of people are gonna be. Like, this is my waifu, I need to pull for her. And uh, guys, go for it, she's gonna be really, really strong. Uh, I just wanna check one thing before we finish off. Let's go over the limit burst. Uh, so, seven stars. When you max out that limit burst, it's a one-hit move. It's gonna cost you 27 crystals. Consume, uh, consume Esper Orbs for AoE. 1600% uh, hybrid attack using magic and SPR. And AoE minus 60%. All elemental resistance for three and uh, for three turns. So basically, for three turns, she's gonna lower all um, all the elements for by 60%, which is really really nice. And also, she's gonna be able to dish out a lot of damage. So guys, let me know down below: Are you excited for the waifu Citra? Are you guys gonna pull for her, or are you gonna keep your stuff for the Halloween units? Anyways, guys, let me know down below, like I just said. And uh, yeah, if you are new to this channel, guys, one more time. Please subscribe down below, leave a like on this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!